Hey there, this is G.E. Gallus. I am the writer and illustrator of upcoming graphic novel, The Plague and Dr. Came. And I'm here today to give you a tour of my art studio and give you a behind the scenes look into the making of The Plague and Dr. Came. <laughs> And of course I love books. I have probably way too many books. Um, here are some of my favorites. Of course I have lots of Edward Gorey, Tintin, Moomin, Jane Eyre, some Anthony Burgess, lots and lots of John le Carre. I love this copy of Alice in Wonderland. It has drawings by Mervyn Peake who wrote Gormenghast. Of course, I need a copy of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. Lots and lots of Wilkie Collins. I have more Wilkie Collins in my bedroom. Lots of Penguin Classics, of course. Um, and I have a lot of Patricia Highsmith as well. A number of William Blake books. Manga and Japanese literature in both the original and English translations. <laughs> okay, now I want to show you some of my art tools. Of course, I use pencils. Um, I like to use 2B, um, and of course I use them till they're pretty short, so I have one of these handy-dandy pencil extenders uh, so I can get the most out of these pencils. <laughs> And if you use pencils, then of course you need pencil sharpeners. I like these two. I kind of alternate between them. And of course I have lots and lots of erasers, all sorts of erasers. And if you have erasers, then you need a brush to get rid of that eraser dust. So that comes in really handy. I really love these Copic pens. I know a lot of people have heard of Copic markers, but they also make pens in different sizes. So I use these two a lot. I think that I've had these for probably eight or nine years already. And the great thing is that they have replacement nibs, so you don't have to throw out the whole pen. You can just replace the nib and have a brand new pen. And you can also replace the ink cartridge. So when you run out of ink, you can just put in a new cartridge, which is really great. Now I'm gonna show you the script for The Plague and Dr. Came. Um, I don't write scripts for comics, probably how most other people write scripts. Um, I write scripts that are easy for me to interpret and use because I'm the one turning the script into a final illustrated graphic novel. So whatever works for me, I just kind of do it. I go with my gut. Um, so this is the script that I used while drawing the final pages for The Plague and Doctor Came. So it's marked up a little bit, not too much, but I do have some notes on it. Or, you know, I put some check marks when I finished drawing certain pages. Um, so that kind of helped me stay organized. It's not a very long script, but it turned into a much longer graphic novel, which usually is what happens. For all of my graphic novels, I do a ton of research, both factually and visually. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the visual references that I've collected and looked at when I drew The Plague and Dr. Came.
When I'm done writing a script, then the next step is to draw thumbnails to figure out what's going to go on each page. I also use the thumbnail stage to make some quick character designs and figure out the design of props and clothing and whatever else is going to go on the page. the lovely acid-free box where I keep the final pages of The Plague and Dr. Kane. These are pages 19 through 100 of The Plague and Dr. Kane. It might look a little bit thick because I do draw on Bristol board, which is thicker than your regular paper. For all of these pages, I pencil them first, and then I ink them, and then I scan them all into my computer, and then I color them in Photoshop and format it all in InDesign. So I hope this tour gave you some insight into the making of The Plague and Dr. Kame. I'm so excited to be kickstarting this graphic novel with the amazing Cast Iron Books. And I hope you'll all check out our Kickstarter campaign, um, buy yourself a copy of The Plague and Dr. Kame, and help us spread the word. Okay, guys, see you next time. Thank you so much.